I call Dr. Pam Chi Pama. Speaker, for this opportunity to take this call to support the Land Transport Amendment Bill in its first reading. Mr. Speaker, I have to say that it's good to see the support for this bill uh, to uh, take this bill to the next uh, step, that is the select committee process. Mr. Speaker, I want to clarify to the opposition that this bill is not about police numbers. This bill is about enhancing passenger safety. This bill is about allowing flexibility in the small passenger service industry to adopt technology. And this bill is also about a fairness in competition, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, in the small passenger service industry, we know that the traditional taxi industry has been advocating for level playing field. And this bill addresses that issue. Mr. Speaker, currently our rules of for different operating models uh, across uh, small passenger service industry are not consistent. Uh, the compliance requirements and restrictions on them vary a lot. So, Mr. Speaker, this bill addresses that issue. This bill also brings in a requirement of a, a small a passenger service license. So, if commercial operators will operate without that license, it will be um, an offense, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we have heard about mandatory alcohol interlocks, and yes, the evidence shows that uh, these interlocks uh, work um, as um, an effective uh, tool to reduce drink driving. Mr. Speaker, when people are drunk, they can't make sensible decisions. So we want to use technology to reduce uh, drink driving, and that will definitely help us reduce road toll. Fair evasion, yes, Mr. Speaker, it's becoming a big problem, and we need to address that. So this bill addresses that problem by giving more powers to enforcement officers. And we have also heard uh, about uh, people, those who flee police, Mr. Speaker. So this is to send a strong signal to people, those who don't stop when they are asked to stop by a police officer or an enforcement officer, that it is going to be a serious offense. And Mr. Speaker, for that, I want to acknowledge my colleague Stuart Smith for his contribution to this bill. And finally, Mr. Mr. Speaker, this bill is about updating heavy vehicle regulations, and that is about fairness in uh, that field. As I said before, Mr. Speaker, this is about bringing fairness and uh, competition that is in the transport industry. This is about bringing fairness in small passenger service industry, and this is also about allowing the flexibility to adopt technology, as we know that some small passenger service industries are adopting technology faster than others. Mr. Speaker, I'm looking forward to working on this bill in the select committee process. I support this bill and commend this bill to the House. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.